right to left. Name and occupation, please. Uh, Crystal Kennard, and I'm a chartered accountant. Hey, what are you doing here today? Um, I'm here to have fun with some good fitness friends, um, network, and also working for my sponsor, BioX Nutrition. BioX Nutrition, right on. Yeah. And Miss Cherry Doll. Yes. Hi, I'm Cherry Valenos. I own Cherry Dolls, which is a spray tanning company. Mm -hmm. So I'm here spray tanning a couple of competitors, um, athletes, photo shoot, okay. people for photo shoots. So her job is to put the color on the athletes. And my name's Amanda Lee, and I'm a personal trainer. Personal trainer? Yeah. And what are we doing at the O? Uh, we're doing some networking, looking for possible sponsorships, okay. and having fun. No, I like that. I'm going I'm to segue into that. Um, looking for sponsorships. What does that mean? You come in looking great, you got a good color, and what do you do? Talk to people, kind of see what they're offering, see what I can offer them, and get to know some people, okay. work on relationships. So that's not specific, very specific for me. I want to know, did you bring business cards? Are you batting your eyes at the guy? Are you are you dropping up? Are you requesting a business card? Are you standing there waiting for somebody that's busy and make sure you talk to him? As you come here, as you drove all the way here, you flew all the way here, your intentions were to hopefully meet that one person. What are you doing to make it happen? Well, I brought some business cards with me, okay. and I'd like to get to know them, meet them, get their business card, see what their business is all about, and see if we mesh well and can offer each other some good, you know, ways to reciprocate business. Sure. And yeah, look to meet people, I guess. Yeah. No, to be honest with you, I was doing the exact. I asked that question because I was doing the exact same thing three years ago, and if, as a matter of fact, as of two years ago, walking around here with business cards, meeting people, PDF files, sending emails, things of that nature. Okay, back to you, Cherry. We have had a long-standing battle going on between our colors, okay? We are going to officially have a spray-off. Now, for all of you who are watching this right now, that, to really enjoy a career in fitness long-term, you're eventually going to have to choose a color that is sprayed onto you because if you're tanning, you're going to end up looking like a, a potholed freak. We've seen plenty of them walking around here today, okay? This woman puts the color on you, and I do too as well. My color is South Seas. Hers is? Norvell. Norvell. And um, it actually, I, I can't say it doesn't look. We're all sporting we're, cherry. We're all. Yeah. Okay, and uh, I, I do know she does have skills spraying. So now it's just talking trash about her manufacturer. She has a system down. She has a system. Oh yeah. You follow. You follow the system. We follow a system. We have tanning parties okay. in the hotel room during this time here in Las Vegas too. Okay, and uh, and real quick, uh, we're gonna we're gonna wrap this thing up. What is the process for somebody who's never competed and they need to get a tan? Um, some people are thinking they just go in the tanning bed, they throw on some oil, or they're going to... I just, I, I know so many people that went to go compete and they showed up the day of, didn't expect a $120 pen tan as opposed to the $50 tan. What's the big difference? The big difference with just explaining to the person um, how to get into it. What, what are the steps and what should they expect? Okay, well the steps, they just have to make sure that when they're going in for their spray tan, they're going in exfoliating, making sure before they do come in for their spray tan that they don't have any type of lotion or oil-based products sure. on their skin so that it actually absorbs. Okay. Um, on a Friday night, let's say I'm competing in a week, and I call you up and I say, what's expected of me? Do I get a tan on Friday night? Do I get it in the morning of? How many coats are you going to put on? Do I have to worry about exfoliating? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm so nervous, I don't know what to do. And you're going to screw up my color, and I've been trying for 12 weeks, and, and, and this is better not be the different... I own a spray tan machine under my bed, and I have these people have anxiety, and they share it with me, that I'm not going to screw up their big day. So, so uh, just in bullet points, what is the process? How does it happen? Exfoliate daily before the day of your spray tan. Okay. Friday night we do one coat okay. or two coats depending on how dark they want to be. It'll get darker over time and then we can spray tan the day of the show and then do touch-ups as well if they want. So what you're saying is it's a, a two or three coat process depending on your, your color and then the morning of if you splashed up on yourself for the ladies or for a man if you've uh, spilled that beer you're drinking the night before your contest for sure we all know you're doing that. Um, then you can do a touch-up. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Anything to add? Cherry Dolls is awesome. <laughs> ah, okay, I'll see you ladies at the pool.